Welcome to the DIY of things. I am the DIYer and today I will show you how did I design a bathroom model in SolidWorks. For this alcove shower, I began building the center wall as an object, extruded and placed it onto another object which I declared was the floor. Then I proceeded to create point to thick extrusions of the material that would serve as the walls. Then I proceeded to create other types of walls with custom materials of course. I'm creating the bathroom with tiles in mahogany, travertine or sandstone and slate. Of course, mating was the most complex part of this project, as SolidWorks is not designed as an architectural product, but something more for mechanical engineering, industrial design, and things alike. And here it is, somewhat finished the assembly, so now decided to add two doors and a window so I could have some more of a realistic room appearance. Being a visual reference, I did not pay much attention to the details of the doors and the window. Instead, I focused on making it dimensionally proportionate and illustrative for design purposes.
The toilet was quite easy to make. It consisted of a block, a block on top of it as the tank, some radii, and a swerve cup around a circle contour to give it a more realistic shape. Sorry about that, I meant to say swept, not swerved cup. The shower pan was another easy addition. It consisted of a rectangular extrusion, a center, both sided extruded cut in the middle, radii for detail, and finally, a small drain. Of course, this is nothing as precise measured, rather it was to give it more of a visual appeal to the bathroom. The functional purpose of this model, besides design, is to illustrate me in designing a vanity cabinet for the sink that would fit the plumbing. Of course, being a 1915 home, I would like to do as least plumbing job as possible since it's a pain to start rearranging fixtures and all that, and design should always be simple, functional, and beautiful. Stay tuned, follow me on Instagram, like and subscribe if you did, thank you.